Hi and welcome to this video log with me Wayne, your Swim Cycle Run Coach. Um, this week's log has been prompted by a response to a video that's on this channel. And that video I'll put a link to, I think just there, um, yeah, there, not there, um, is about kinesio taping a calf muscle um, to protect it and to help it heal. The person said, after months of pain when I run, I followed the instructions on this video and I finally went for a five kilometre run with absolutely no pain whatsoever, ever, onwards and upwards. Now that's fantastic. <laughs> that really is the, the power of video on YouTube and, and it's fantastic to see that. But it, that did get me thinking that sometimes these things that we use to help us become crutches that we use every single time we do something. So my point to you is this, when the tools that we've been using become a crutch that we always need whenever we do something, they've actually lost their usefulness and more importantly lost their effectiveness. If a calf strain, for example, with calf guards, keeps on happening and happening and happening and just recurs every single time we run, then there's something wrong either with our bodies or with our musculature that we need to address. Because I clearly had problems with my calf, I know exactly how the brain goes about this. Because I bought calf guards and I used them at Blenheim. Now my calf still hurt, but the thought pro process goes right. I've got calf guards on, yeah, my calf's feeling better, my calf's feeling better. But as soon as you take those off, you think, oh, oh I'm in trouble. And that really is a negative position. It's better to actually slowly but surely wean yourself off the calf guard, off the crutch that you're using, and that way any situation that's occurring you can deal with. Okay, so what I'm really saying is you shouldn't be relying on a crutch that's extraneous to racing. If there's something that you're currently relying on that feasibly at some point you could see not being there, then you have to plan for it not being there. And by doing so, if it isn't available to use, you'll have a much happier race experience when that happens. If not, mentally, you're already at a disadvantage when you start racing. Okay, that's it for this week. Next week, I may be reviewing the brownie book that I'm currently reading, assuming I finish it. In the meantime, let's hope Andy does really well at Wimbledon and that all of you race well this weekend or train well. Keep up. See you next week.